My name is Thomas and welcome to my Laracraft channel. I have two news. One is good and other is not so. The good news are today I'm going to talk and show how I do photos for my daily social media content such as Instagram. And the bad news at the end of the video. First of all, I want to mention I'm not by any means professionally related to photography or consider myself as a photographer. The first camera I bought when I started doing leathercraft and found necessity of taking photos. Over these years, while I'm in leathercrafting, I also learned something in photography as well. This is my way of taking daily photos, but if you have more experience and understanding in photography, you are very welcome to leave your comments and help to improve my and other viewers skills in this field. Way before my understanding in photography was, the better camera you have, the better photos you will get. For sure, it makes some difference, but way much bigger difference makes your skills and knowledge. I won't be explaining about the cameras, how it works, what is shutter speed, ISO, aperture, and etc. On YouTube, there are a vast variety of tutorials on the SLR cameras. I will go through my process, settings, and what I actually do. So, photography consists of photographing things and post-production, which is correcting the final look of visuals on the computer. I do post-production in Adobe Lightroom class. In this video I will go only over first stage and will do another video how I do post correction probably in another video. <coughs> Keep in mind that to take perfect professional photos you need a lot of knowledge and skills and it takes a lot of time to set up everything according to the product you are going to photograph and then post production. It may take days. My point is to make everything in as little time as I can before dispatching my craft to custom. Camera I use to take photos is Canon 90D. It's a cropped ASPC sensor camera. The lens I use the most is 50mm 1.8 Canon prime lens. It would be something around 80mm equivalent on full frame sensor camera. Sometimes I use my Canon 24mm 2.8 lens if I need a wider shot. Probably the most important thing in photography is lighting. I would say 95% of my photos I do under natural light near the window. In the first half of the day, when the window doesn't get the direct sun, then the light is soft and does not create harsh shadows. Sometimes I use my Godox SL60 LED lights if it's necessary for me to take photos and there is not enough light through the window. And the main pro of using natural light for me, it's time. I don't need to set up lighting every time. My photo spot, as you saw in my studio tour, is a stool with burned oak board on it and a piece of same board. It's pretty convenient as I can place a board in any direction I want. I set up the camera on a tripod and connect it via USB cable to the computer. Then I use uh, Adobe Lightroom to do tethered capture, which means I press the shutter button on the computer and immediately see the photo on the screen. It's super convenient as you immediately see how the photo looks and can adjust everything in your setup the way you want your photo to look. As I take photos of products and its stationary object, it allows me to use slow shutter speed and higher aperture. And pressing the shutter button in the program eliminates any minor movement of the camera when I pressing the shutter button. Also in the process I use a variety of reflectors and board panels with white or black. Reflectors are like super cheap lights, you can direct it where you want to be more light or use black panels if you want to block some areas from light. Here we can see what impact makes a simple cardboard or reflector on the final look.
Such boards you can make by yourself, cheap reflectors you can find in AliExpress, I will leave the links in the description. It's cheap, but it helps a lot in photography. Overall, photography is a play with light. This is my process of taking photos. After I took some of them, I choose a few I think look the best and they then make post correction in Adobe Lightroom. This process I will show in my next video. Ok, few more tips. Usually I put some kind of thing, for example cardboard under the card holder I am photographing to slightly separate it from the background. It helps a bit in a post correction. Also, it's cool to add to your photo some spice with various things, but it's all about your creativity and your style. Just experiment and find what you think looks the best for you. Leather crafting business isn't just a leather craft, it's much more around such as photography, videography, social media and etc. So don't forget to consult the interest and improve your skills in these areas as well. That's it! If you like my crafts and would like to have one of them, you can order it at my webshop sdhandmade.com or also there you can find PDF templates and make any of my designs by yourself. If you can, please support my channel by joining channel members. Your questions and critique are very welcome in the comment section. Any type of your support would be appreciated. Don't forget to press the like button and subscribe if you haven't yet. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye! And the bad news is that nowadays photo content in social media such as Instagram gets less and less reach and spread and it's harder and harder to reach potential customers organically. In the last Instagram algorithm update, photo content is almost kill for spreading and now these TikTok style videos are trending and all the companies are trying to promote this kind of content. Of course, you can't produce these videos for everyday content. We'll see, but the fact is that photo content is no longer the best way to grow your business on social media.